All right, guys, let's talk about numbers. eGPU FCP10 benchmarks. Well, I was hoping that uh, the new Final Cut 10 comes out sooner, but it's not. Um, I wanted to make more benchmarks with the new version that might be more supported and runs even faster. Also, wanted to try an RX 560 um, at the same time. But I think it's time to talk a little bit about um, all the stuff that's going on right now. So um, I'm using a 2016 MacBook Pro 15 inch with touch bar. Uh, it has the basic setup. It's the AMD Radeon Pro 450 with two gigabytes. So it's not the fastest um, solution. And especially when I have uh, two other screens connected, it's a bit slow with 4K um, in Final Cut 10. I'm running macOS 10.13.1, which is, I think, the first official uh, OS that supports the eGPU uh, on Mac side. And of course, the latest uh, Final Cut 10, it's the 10.3.4. Um, and I have no problems. Others reported like Final Cut does crash within the connected eGPU. Mine runs fine, nothing special. I did nothing special. Yeah, so maybe it's the Thunderbolt box, I'm not quite sure. It's the um, Sonnet breakaway box uh, with Thunderbolt 3. It's the 350 watts version, the same as Apple has in their development kit. So, and I'm running right now the RX 570 with 8 gigs of video RAM. So that's the setup. Nothing special, and um, yeah, so far it's good. So I did the uh, Bruce X uh, export time um, test, and I used two cards, RX 580 and RX 570, and the internal card, of course. And one word to my setup, I have the MacBook Pro, one display, I have a second display as like the main display, um, that's running uh, BenQ 27 inch and I have a Dell uh, links below a links below uh, a Dell 25 no 24 inch <laughs> sorry um, screen so three screens running um, for all the setups all the same stuff project was on an SSD so yeah this is uh, the um, times Bruce X with the original card, with the internal card, no displays connected, it's 46 seconds. And with the 480, I get like 20 seconds. And with the 570, it's one second more. Um, average time, you know, sometimes I got a bit faster in the 80 and sometimes uh, the 70. So, yeah. And I also did like a normal, my normal stuff, what I do, it's like a one minute edit. So I had like 4K footage from an FS7, uh, A7R2, Phantom 4, which is uh, quite an intense codec. Uh, Premiere has problems with that codec from the Phantom. No transcoding, I had like graphics and stuff like that. Colorista and Magic Bullet look so rather complex and really GPU heavy. And I noticed quite a bit of performance uh, boost with the external card. So. Yeah, exported an 1080p ProRes LT Master and I did um, turn off the background rendering so it's just like the ProRes X um, test. And those are the numbers. Um, with no cards, no external displays whatsoever, the uh, export was like 5 minutes and 21 seconds. And as you can see, you get like uh, yeah, almost 2 minutes uh, less with the external GPU. And also the one second uh, average time difference between those cards. So for now, I'm decided to keep the 570. Uh, the 580 didn't bring too much gain uh, for the money. And I will try the RX 560. Now the 580 might be a better card for gaming, um, especially on Windows, no questions asked. But for the Final Cut 10 stuff, um, it made no difference. Also, no, no difference in Premiere. It is as bad on, on both cards on the MacBook Pro. No, I, I don't know why. It's just bad. Anyways, so those are the um, numbers for right now. 
I also did some general GPU benchmarks. As you can see, the 580 uh, has better numbers here because it's more like those benchmarks are more like for general and gaming GPU performance. Nothing that reflects on the real world video editing uh, side of things. So, yeah, as you can see, the RX 580 is the better card, of course. So, next, I will do a test, the same tests with the RX uh, 560 with 4 gigs of RAM. Those cards both have 8 and um, with some 3D maybe, and also with um, the new Final Cut 10. As soon as that comes out, I will do all the new tests, the additional tests, and I will show the numbers here. Um, yeah, for now, that's it. As you can see, you gain quite a bit of performance, especially when working with it on three screens with 4K, you see better performance, really. It makes a difference. All the links below to the cards, to the box, to the cable, and stuff like that, everything is down below. If you have any questions in the comments and uh, subscribe to not miss the new benchmark, as soon as Final Cut 10 comes out, I will update this thing, this benchmark overview, so you have an idea if the fully supported Final Cut 10 makes a difference or not and maybe if the lower range card, the lower priced card actually might be enough to have the same or almost the same performance and you save like I think the RX 560 is around 150 euros right now this card is uh, at 280 something like that so it's like 150 euros less and um, yeah, that's it. Thanks. See ya.